This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Matt Birch back with me. You're with Community Living Lanark, and it's Community Living Month, and you've been here two weeks in a row now, too. We're yes. uh, doing some awareness for Community Living Month, and you brought somebody with you this week, Hope Larkin. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us oh, today on, uh, on FYI, too. Matt, let's talk about what you do at Community Living again, just to... Refresh yep. everybody. So I'm a facilitator at Community Living. Um, I love my job. I get to do a lot of the fun things, really. When I see people out in the community, we're often doing like bowling or sledge hockey or baseball, uh, swimming. I get to do a lot of the, the fun things, but we also work on, you know, we work on resume building and job placements and volunteering. So uh, it's just a matter of getting uh, getting individuals involved in our community and and. Yeah, getting placed out in the community and getting involved with people. Absolutely, absolutely. Hope, when did you meet Matt? Um, so I've actually known Matt since I was about 14 or 15. He started off as my gym teacher. And oh, before well, I guess you're living. still kind of a gym teacher, <laughs> just for a different set of, set yeah. of people, which is kind of awesome. So I remember when I had first kind of re-met him, I went to Bass Lake Cottage with Community Living and I happen to just be walking down towards the water and I hear hope and I'm I'm looking around and I kind of look I'm like Matt we're not here to do math and gym are we <laughs> like I'm and he's like no 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 like so it was kind of cool to and kind of realize like what a small world it really is absolutely 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 so you're with community living uh landark as well too so I let's am. talk a little bit about what you've been doing how long have you been associated with community living landark oh gosh it's been probably about five or six years okay um at first nobody knew who i was from a hole in the ground i was very closed off and very shy and then i started our job start program and I had started working in the program here in Smith Falls when we were on Main Street. And I just kind of realized that, ooh, I like this. I don't need to be shy around them or, or closed off. Like, these are, these are my people and they're amazing people. And they do so much for, for even myself. That's right. And let's talk about some of the things you do. So Tuesdays in the morning, we start off by doing Meals on Wheels, which I so enjoy. And I've kind of, I've been introduced to a different part of our community that I necessarily maybe wouldn't have thought of before doing my Meals on Wheels. And then, so today we're actually, I'll be here instead of Meals. And then right after this, I'm going to Carlton Place where I go help out with the program there. We've been doing darts, but that's going to move to cornhole, which is a very weird game of hacky sack almost. Okay. So, and I am not very coordinated, <laughs> so that'll this will be interesting. Wednesday, I run different programs, arts, baking. The most popular one would be my science program. We've done a bunch of different things, elephant toothpaste, We've uh, made eggs into bouncy balls, although I think I end up wa wearing more than what <laughs> actually decided to bounce. Um, we've done make your own snow. Like It's been really fun and to see the changes in people. So when I had first started, I would have people like watch and then they would slowly start to ask me questions. And then they'd get closer when they started to watch. And then they were finally like, ooh, we want to help. We want to do this. So from watching them being kind of like iffy about it to like, oh my gosh, we're really enjoying this. And we're, you know, it's something. It's just, it's been amazing to just watch You know what I'm growth. hearing? Is you said you were shy and you didn't know a lot of people. But now you're helping people who are shy and getting to know you and a lot of people. So it's, it's kind full of coming circle. full circle. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Definitely. Exactly. Like, and you seem to like science. To be honest, I never did. Mm -hmm. And then these videos would just start popping up on my Facebook and I'm like, oh my God. Okay, that looks That's really cool. cool. Like, and I guarantee you, we, I'd have quite a few people who'd be interested in it, this. And she's a really great teacher at it. And the guys seem to really, um, really love what she does. And, and I think it's easier when it's your peer trying to teach you a new skill than as opposed to like a, someone in, in my job, I, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. Now, how did you do it during COVID? Uh, we did everything via Zoom. <clears throat> so mm -hmm. Thursdays, 
Well, Wednesdays was Baking with Hope mm -hmm. every other week. And that was a big hit. She had a huge following for that. She could run her own show here maybe for oh, um, really? Baking with Hope. Sign so, up on your way out. <laughs> right. So I really like <clears throat> baking, but I really like cooking too. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I always joke when I say, okay, I'd be the perfect housewife. You shove me into the kitchen and uh, I'm a happy camper. Yeah, like, yeah. So yeah, we would do that Wednesday and then Thursdays I'd go around and I'd drop everything off in the morning. And then the opposing Wednesdays, we did different types of art classes. We made puppets. We've done different types of paintings. Wow. Um, I happened to buy myself a canvas and different paints one day and just followed her along to a YouTube video that was acrylic painting. And so we did that for one of our arts. We did a sunset with a crescent moon and a snowy mountain. And they, they all seem to enjoy it. What I love is everybody's looks different not one ever comes out the same and i love that a lot of them will end up ignoring my instructions and just turning it into their own and that i like to see even more because you know what yeah. i don't want to listen to you okay. hope i want my own creative that's right swing. and that's okay exactly and that's right i love seeing it excellent excellent now we're talking a lot about what you're doing to help other people let's talk about you for a little bit uh, for a few moments yeah. uh before we went on air you're getting your driver's license you're getting your own place yes that's exciting oh definitely it was so i Failed the first two times with my road test, and of course, like I knew I did. So that week before Christmas, when the lady just, she kind of looked at me and was like, she gave me that look and I was like, oh my God, I passed this time, didn't I? Like, I, I actually got it. You didn't it. give up, you didn't give up. Good no, for you. No, definitely not. And that's the biggest thing is the, you know what? I failed my written test about four times and I passed the fifth. Mm -hmm. And I failed the rote test twice and I passed the third. That's right. You could fail at something 50 times, but still don't give up because come that 51. Yes, absolutely. Still Perseverance, eh? That's exactly. Absolutely. And like you did it right before Christmas too. There's a lot of snow on the ground. Big difference between driving in the summertime and the wintertime too. So good for you. Exactly. <laughs> that you. was my thought. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other thing that I really enjoy doing actually would be my photography. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I was, I just did the Mother's Day market over the weekend at Hamley Hall and I made up a bunch of like magnets and cups all with my pictures. Christmas I did up calendars. Yeah, a wow. lot of the offices now have one of my calendars hanging Excellent. up in it. Excellent. Good for you. Oh, definitely. And I would have never known if I was good at it until I was standing in a lock one day, pulled out my phone, started and went, oh, mm -hmm. I'm kind of good at this. Yeah. I'm going to keep with it. Wow. Wow. You're very inspirational. My goodness. I love talking to you. It's like, well, you, you. she wears well, many hats. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I mean, just your resilience. Don't, don't give up. Like it could be your, you know, the, the third try didn't work. The fourth try will. Exactly. Yeah. And even, if, even, even if you fail at something, you're still learning, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, absolutely. going back to the science program. So there are ones that I have found that don't work at mm. all. I will still do it with them so that, you know, everybody can see that sometimes something may work, but sometimes it may not. It's about finding a way yep. to just make that non-working working. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, good for you, Hope. Thank I, I, you. This is very inspirational. Thank you very much for bringing her, Matt. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we knew she'd be good for the job. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, for sure. For sure. Sign up for a talk show on your way out. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, I was going to say, sorry, nobody's really got much time to talk. That's all right. That's all right. No, we're here to learn more about community living yeah. and everything that's going on. So you've been a great advocate for so many people, and I so appreciate everything you're doing and uh, coming here and sharing your story with us. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. I just appreciate everything community living does especially for our community our garbage cleanup we did last month all of our different activities and stuff we do like we've got our barbecue tomorrow at Cornelia Court mm -hmm. like we next week we got a baseball game the Ottawa Titans baseball game next Tuesday yeah. mm -hmm. a lot of our guys volunteer at the high school for the third food for thought program like that's the part that I love. It's it's not what I do for them and, you know, what I can bring to the table. It's what they do for me yeah. and what I see them do. Honestly, it's just, it's amazing to watch. Yeah. Oh, wow. This has been so awesome. This is, I'm so glad I met you. And uh, again, you're so inspirational and, and uh, Community Living's 
very lucky to have you. Well, thank you very yes, much. Yes, <laughs> yes, for sure, for sure. Matt, you got a big birthday in your family. Let's oh, give a shout out right now. That's yeah, pretty special. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm, so my daughter is uh, now officially a teenager. She's 13. Uh, Ooh, so happy exciting. birthday, uh, Layla Birch. Yes, yes. Thanks, oh, Kathy. Right. I'm sure she's quite embarrassed, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. She still loves you, though. Oh, yeah, and we love her, so. All the best, Layla. We wish you nothing but happiness. Hey, well, there you go. We get, we gave Dad a microphone on your birthday. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Thanks, Kathy. <laughs> I'm sure she's loving all of us oh, right now. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Well, thank you very much for joining us and uh, bringing more awareness to Community Living Month and uh, all the things you're doing for the great uh, team here in Lanark. So. Thanks yes. for joining us. Well, thanks Thank so much for having friends. us. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're celebrating 70 years at Community Living. 70 years. Right. Happy birthday, Community That's Living. That's right. We need to celebrate. That's right. Definitely.